Okay everybody, welcome back to a new video in the penny series. It's episode 29 today. We have three boxes of pennies. Um, they're all bank sealed boxes like this. If you watched us before, you know that we just go through 50 cent rolls um, in boxes of $25 from the bank. Of pennies, we look for old ones. Um, here's our oldest book from 1857 to 1909. Those are Indian head pennies, and it goes all the way up to 2013 which we've already filled up this book, but we're mainly looking for the wheat cents and Indian pennies. Um, so none of the boxes have enters, but let's just get started and see if we can find anything good. I'll bring you in on our first find. All right, we're on roll four, and all we've had so far is a Canadian from 1981, but we have a little bit of a weird find here. We got a dime from 2000 out of Philadelphia. So that's kind of weird. I don't usually find many of those. I do get them sometimes though, and it's kind of cool finding them, but let's keep going. On roll 12, we're gonna have two wheat pennies in this roll. Um, right up front here, we got one, and it is a 57 Denver. And then back here a little bit further, we have a second one from 1945. Roll 18, and once again, we're gonna have two in the same roll, so I don't know how we just keep getting none and then two in one roll, but we got 1941, and then a little bit back here. There's the back, and it's a 58 Denver. It's the next roll, and we got a 1945. Roll 23, and we got a really dirty one from 1956. Roll 30, and we have our oldest um, penny so far, and it's gonna be a 1940. Roll 40 of the first um, penny box, we got a very gross 1945. And then we also had another one behind it a little bit, and it's going to be a very common 1957 Denver. All right, it's the next roll, and we got a 52 Denver, and I think that's the first um, one of these that we've got. So let's see what else we can get out of this uh, first penny box. Okay, we uh, finished up with box number one. We had 10 wee pennies, which is my average um, per box usually. Five Canadians and one dime. So it wasn't like an outstanding box, but it wasn't bad either. Um, so we still have two boxes to go though, so let's get started on box number two and see if we can find any good wheat cents or anything like that. Roll one of box number two, and this one is actually from a different bank, so it could be better or worse, but we got a 1946 in roll one. Roll three, and we actually have another one here. I didn't even notice this at first, but there this is the front, and it's a 1950. Roll eight, and we just got a 1950, but now we have a 1951. Roll 12, and we got a 1957 Denver right there. Roll 15 now, and this box is doing pretty good. We're getting a lot of wheat cents, but uh, we got another one here. It's gonna be a 1941. Roll 17, and we're gonna have two finds this roll. This one is a King George, or, sorry, Queen Elizabeth II um, young head and it's going to be from 1962 and back here we have a wee penny that looks cleaned or something but actually not really just like two spots are weirdly polished off but it's from 1945. roll 18 and we got a 1958 denver all right so i'm coin roll hunting outside now and i also forgot to bring my mic to where i'm at right now but we got a wheat scent and it's a 56 Denver. All right, roll 35, and I already saw it. I'm out here with my dad, and he thought it was totally lame, but I, loved it. I got a 1911, which is like 100 and like 100, 111 years old. And we don't have this one yet, and it's in really good shape, so that's great. Oh, I dropped it. It's a third uh, third year wheat scent. All right, it's the next roll, and we got another one in pretty good shape, and it's from 1957. Roll 39, and we got another one. It's kind of, it looks all worn, and there's like a dent on the side, but it's from 1936. Roll 44, and we got another one, and it's going to be a 56 Denver. Okay, we finished up with box two. I don't know how uh, many finds we had exactly because it's all mixed in with box one, but our best find was this 1911 in really good shape. So let's move on to box three now and see if we can uh, get something good. And we also, I pulled out this whole 1984 coin, but let's move on to box three. 
I went and checked. Um, I pulled out like a roll of this third box. And the ender is a dime from 2000, which is weird. I've never seen that before. Roll 12 of the third box, and we got a 1951 Denver. Roll 15, and I got a 1946, and a Canadian from 1986. On um, roll 20, we got a 1945 and a 1946 in the same roll. Roll 29, and we got a Canadian young head um, in pretty beat up shape, but it's from 1961. Roll 34, and we got another dime from 2007 out of Philadelphia. Roll 36, and we got a very old Canadian coin, actually, from 1940. Uh, it's a King George the Sixth. It's almost actually a King George the Fifth. Those they stopped making those in I think 1936. Yeah, 1936. So it's one of the first years of King George the Sixth. So that's cool. Canadian scent. But anyways, let's keep going through these last um, 14 rolls and see what else we can get. Roll 40. And we got another one right here. Let's see what it is. It's going to be a 52 Denver. Alright, roll 49. We got another wheat penny. I have not seen the date yet. Let's slip it over. Let's see what it is. Actually, it's going to be an older one. 1930. I think we already have this one. I wasn't expecting it to be older, but... 1930, that's definitely a cool date. It might be a replacement in our album or something. But I'm pretty sure we already have, have this year. Anyways, that's a great find. Um, let's put it to the side and see what is left in this last roll. Alright, on the last roll, we are going to have a find. We've had quite a few older Canadians in these boxes. But let's see what this one is. It's a young head. It's going to be a 1964. So the last year of the young head. That's alright. Um, I'm gonna give you a wrap-up of everything we found now. I might go inside to do that, but let me get that set up All right, so here's the wrap-up of the three box penny hunt search $75 um, We found 28 wheat cents Total and then sorry, it's kind of windy 19 Canadians and three dimes There are the dimes we found this hold penny too our Canadians, our oldest was a 1940, 61, 62, and 64. The rest are in like relatively newer. And then with the wheat cents, our best find was definitely this 1911 right here. It will be going in the album. Also, I checked this 1930 will be going in too as a replacement. Got a 36, a 40, two 41s. 545s and 346s. Those are two pretty common years. I find a lot. A 50, 51, 51 Denver, 252 Denvers, a 56, 256 Denvers, 57, 357 Denvers, and 258 Denvers. So that's going to be the wrap up for the video. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, 1911 and 1930 in them albums and I'll check if we have any others that will be replacements in the albums so let me go put those two in first all right so I put in the 1911 there it is right there at 101 million minted so now we have the 09 11 we don't have the 10 and it's actually the 10 is higher minted than the 11 so really the 11 is rarer than the 10 which is weird but yeah um, we also have the 12 don't have the 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, don't have the 22 or 23, 22, it's a very hard year to get because there's only the Denver Mint, 24, 25s, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, the whole Great Depression thing, we don't really have that many, of. We have, and then you have all the years after that. So really, we're doing pretty good. We're only missing a few of the years, and then just the mint marks. So I'm going to go and check the second book. Also, I put in 1930. There's a replacement. I'm going to go and check the second book and see if we have any replacements. All right, we didn't have any replacements in the second book, and we're still just missing a few dates, the 54 and 55S, and then the 42S and 47S. Um, hoping to find those eventually, but not that rare of dates. 
yeah, the 47S has almost 100 million. And we have all the other dates in these books, including well, the 70, 71. I just haven't really been looking for anything other than wheat pennies, really. Uh, other than, like, the error coins and stuff. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Um, I ordered more penny boxes for next week. So I'll be making a video next week. Probably around, like, Thursday through Saturday. So I'll see you all next time.